Moving on to the global update, the U.S. Central Bank says that the economy is making progress due to widespread vaccinations. And meanwhile, Google workers will need to be vaccinated before returning to the office. More stories on today's International Minute. The U.S. Central Bank has said that the economy is making progress due to widespread vaccinations. The Federal Reserve kept interest rates on hold near zero, saying that inflation largely reflected factors that would pass in time, while jobs growth and the economy had strengthened. It said the central bank will continue to monitor economic progress before easing pandemic support. China is expanding its capacity to store and launch nuclear missiles, U.S. scientists say. Satellite images from Xinjiang province in the west of the country suggest it is building a nuclear missile silo field, a report from the Federation of American Scientists says. U.S. defense officials have expressed concern about China's nuclear buildup. It is the second new silo field reported to be under construction in western China in the last two months. International cruises will be able to start again from England from 2 August after a 16-month break. People arriving at UK ports who have been fully vaccinated in the US and the EU will also not have to quarantine, the UK government said. It is part of a plan to relax isolation rules for US and EU arrivals in the UK. An industry body say travel agencies, hotels, tour guides, port operators and other firms would benefit from cruises restarting. Google workers will need to be vaccinated before returning to the office. The policy will begin at its U.S. campuses within weeks and then be rolled out globally for its 144,000 employees. Many firms are waking up their stances on vaccinations. Publishers Bloomsbury said in June that vaccines would be compulsory for UK staff returning to offices when they reopen. IDX Channel reports.